Okay. Who am I? Who am I shooting at? Aha. Hey Brats, welcome back to the channel. And today we've got kind of a random one. The company has a program coming out. It's a Steam integration app, basically. It gives you the option to have your smooth locomotion by kind of running in place. Now, <laughs> the video behind me, I mean, obviously, that guy right there is doing the J-Brat wiggle right now. It looks kind of ridiculous, but uh, what, what one of the ideas behind most of these is that if you're actually moving your body, it'll keep you from getting motion sick now i don't know exactly how this works if it's based on the headsets movement or if it's based on your hands bouncing i'm kind of wondering if it'll mess up gameplay when you're in there will be a 60 second demo available for everyone on steam already so if you want to try it uh, oh and by the way that is not my mouse cursor in the video that is that is not mine that is someone else's right there <laughs> so and my cat apparently wants my attention here. So I thought it'd be cool. We'll, we'll install this real quick, see what the install process is like, if it's easy to turn it on and off for games. And then we will go in and play a game and see how this affects the experience. If we like it, if it's gonna help you be more active and play the game, or if it's just gonna make things more difficult. So let's check it out. All right, so thank you so much to the developer who did give us a code for this. We're just gonna go in and put that code. So this is V Rocker for beta testing. Where did it go? Was it that fast of an install? Steam failed to install. It's already owned, okay. So it should be in my library now. Okay, is all of Steam just glitched? All right, so far we're not having great luck with this. Cat, this is the most uncomfortable angle you've ever been at. Already in your Steam library. Well, where the F is it then? Okay, so after restarting Steam, it showed up in my software. So I'm gonna resume the download here. It's kind of random. I don't know why that happened. All right, so this is the interface. Boy, I have no idea what all this means. Do you want to mention this is in early access right now? So this isn't the final product by any means. They're actually releasing it like this to let people try it and give them feedback to change it up. Let's do a tutorial. So it looks like it's telling me to put the headset on. Thank you for trying out this tutorial. It allows for an alternate movement method in VR. It runs parallel to other Steam VR games and overrides the in-game pad stick movement with movement generated by moving your body. It should be running now on your desktop with both the server and driver lights green. It contains some new videos, few tasks, and will end with a survival shooter. First set the hand you want to use for movement. Left. So it's, I don't know what it means by set the hand. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. So if I were to hold forward and aim forward, I'd go forward. If I held forward and went to the side, I would go to the side. So that's why this is feeling weird, okay. Next, go to the VRocker GUI by accessing the desktop and select your movement side to match. Left, yep. Let's VRock. For most games, trigger movement by touching, not clicking the stick tap slash pad. Oh, what? Okay. So that's weird. So I, I'm not exactly sure. We're going to keep going, but I feel like, so it's not, it, this stick will always still move me if I mess with it. So, oh my God. Okay. Stop. I personally hate when games have it, if you're holding forward, you're turning all around. I understand that comes a lot from the Vive because the Vive doesn't have a joystick on it. It has like a touchpad, so it makes more sense to aim your hand, kind of like PSVR. But for something like this, this is just, it'll drive you crazy because you're used to a controller, forward always means forward. So you turn, you have a gun in your hands or something, you're all over the place. Do you rocker to supplement the game movement or replace it totally? Using the sticky feature will be discussed. Braking helps stay in control of the system by using the angle of the controller and temper the movement applied. Point the controller forwards for no brakes and down to the ground to stop completely. Useful when navigating tight turns, running corridors can be toggled in the GUI if it's not worth starting off with this option active. If not, require, but it's worth starting off with this option active. I'm going to try and go with what they say, but I'm definitely having a, a bit of a, there's a learning curve here on this. I kind of wanted to not let me use the stick to move. Is that an option? 
doesn't look like it's at least not an easy option to find, so. Okay. I feel like at this point, it should be like encouraging you to go try this. Okay, so if I were bouncing, moving, punching right now, nothing happens. If I just touch this stick, as in I hold it. Oh my gosh, what? Oh my gosh, this is this is weird. So I feel like trying to run in place, it's not really doing what I want it to do. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty weird and kind of confusing. So, it's like you have to touch this stick to get it to activate this whole mode. But then, your, your left controller still needs to be facing where you're trying to go. So like, if I were to start running right now, and the movement is slow, no matter what way I'm facing this stick, it's still all based on this. Ah, and it's moving me very slowly. I definitely think the, the J-Rat Wiggle, as Will calls it, seems to work better. I don't know what it's basing this off of. Because if I just use my hands, it's not that. It seems to be basing it off of head shifting. But if I just squat, that's not working here. It's, it's like based on the side to side head movement. Pointing the movement controller to the ground to engage the brake. So if your hand is down, you're going to be braking. So I see where maybe turning off braking would make sense. So this is brake. So it breaks, oh my gosh. It breaks if it's down, but there's no sort of like sensitivity to how you should be moving. So like if I have my hand at a 45 degree angle, I'll still move the same speed as if I had it at a 90 degree angle. That doesn't seem to change the speed of your movement. The value in this is to be active and then to potentially, I mean, maybe some people think this might increase immersion. I don't know about that, but also for people who get motion sick, I feel like I'm feeling extremely disoriented from this because I can't figure out the movement style. Hopefully the demo, you get a full, this whole area, and then the 60 seconds you can use in any game and try it because you're not gonna, <laughs> in 60 seconds, you're not gonna learn how any of this works. So it's like kind of telling you what options to play with to figure this out. I think that having to mess with these options this much definitely at this point makes it pretty unapproachable. Because I feel like the problem is, I, if I could mess with the options from in here. So, okay, here's here's my advice to the developer. Put the GUI right here inside of this as well. Like, I don't want to have to take this off and go to my desktop, play with something, come back, try and figure out. I need to be able to adjust this from in here, or it's, it's really just falling flat on its face for me right now. Because I... I already, I don't want to go mess with my computer and try and get back and see how it feels like. That just feels like like it's asking a lot of the player who's already trying to figure this thing out. I am so slowly moving and jogging really does not seem to work because I keep moving my hands. It's like I need to jog with my hand out or something. Let's play with some settings. Okay, so we're gonna try turning this running in place on thing. Okay, so I think I need to turn effort down a little bit. That should help me move more quickly. So now, if I'm holding forward, any movement seems to be activating me. But again, it's it's based on the hand thing, which is weird and is kind of driving me crazy. Because like, it's not natural to try and go the direction your hand is facing. It's natural to go the direction your head is facing. But people, I understand people want this because they want to be able to like, look side to side as they're running. Like, especially in a shooter where you have a gun and you want to be able to look around the corner if you're moving. I get that. I want to base it on my headset. This definitely feels like more of a developer tool than a, than a casual gamer tool. This is, this is, and that's just me. Maybe most of you look at the sale, this is totally easy, but this is kind of complex. I feel like there should just be a, a simple option that's like, base your movement on head, hand, blah, and I just don't see that. So strafing only works in a game, it says, which is a problem because I want to get used to the movement in this weird tutorial, 
and then go try it in a game. And if I can't even get all my settings set here, if I need to go into games and mess with it, that's that's enough of a barrier that I can tell you personally, I'm not gonna be able to deal with or do that. What's kind of frustrating here is like, it's giving me information inside the game and then it's making me come out here and work with this UI. But what's weird too, like now I'm thinking, okay, what did it say? It said something about changing it. Now I gotta go back into the game and try and figure out what it said. So luckily I can kind of see it here on the screen. This tutorial is set to control relative orientation. If you want to use VRocker with an HMD relative game, check out the help in the GUI for strafing options. So basically if I want to switch it to headset based movement, I have to get into a game and then try it. And it says <laughs> set to control or relative, simply point your controller in the direction you want to walk. There is nothing natural or normal about aiming your hand out in front of you at a direction you want to go. That's, that's totally counterintuitive. A head is more intuitive, but it's still not true to life. If you really want this to be true to life, you would need like a Vive tracker strapped on your chest and that would that would be more often the direction you're trying to go because if you're turning your head but your chest is still facing forward that would feel more natural the problem is nothing besides an actual vr treadmill i think can actually quite nail how your movement should be uh in real life because my chest could be facing forward my head could be facing forward but i could be sidestepping in a shooter or strafing in real life and nothing is going to simulate that exact motion unless i've got a treadmill under me that's that's sensing which way I'm trying to walk. So all of these options with these programs, I appreciate what developers are trying to do, but it definitely definitely always feels so unnatural that I, I just go back to the joystick. So let's try and go through this tutorial, try the shooter thing they have built in, and then we'll talk. See, it's a simply point. So this is so, it's so unnatural. Like I'm holding my controller out and now my batteries are dying. Gah. Already getting in, I feel like frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> my, oh yeah, I have to do this weird movement style. And the fact that I can't turn is kind of annoying since I'm trying to like face you guys. So, okay. Okay, don't do that. Keep this hand facing forward and do the weird motion. Okay, so apparently with the sensitivity turn up, turning my head like this makes me move too, so. So if you activate sticky mode, basically, tap this tap this twice and it'll stay activated until you unactivate it so then i could be fighting and shooting the problem would be like if i was trying to fight in sticky mode and it was turned on i'd be moving all over the place accidentally for some game modes used with the braking options described later is the most natural way to use the app i cannot imagine how that is the case i feel like like if i'm fighting or something and then like i have to like stop myself and like fight with this hand and keep this hand down because if i were to move this hand up all of a sudden it would be reactivated like a blade and sorcery i'd be fighting with a sword and then i'd go to grab another sword and then all of a sudden i'd be moving sticky mode definitely i don't know what kind of games that would make sense for and basically you're going to be messing with this ui every time you play a different game is what this is telling me you can set profiles for each game once you have them right there's a game in here there's a gun here somewhere go find it okay so now we get to go try this game or you get to go try this out. So let's go find the gun. I might have lied. The gun is probably back where you started. Up to two, point your movement controller forward, click pad, make running the default by the ticking the click move toggle in the UI. You can make running the default by ticking the click move toggle in the UI. So why isn't it called running and toggle it? Like auto run or something. Why is it called click move? Okay, there's our gun. This is so awkward. Okay. The gun bow up braking is set in the advanced options and aiming down the sights will cause the system to pause for more accuracy. Use this feature in sticky mode. So basically if you, if you set it that way, it's gonna stop your movement if you go to aim down the sights, which to me seems pretty awkward because a lot of games when you're when you're moving when you're when you're using the sights you're still moving trying to avoid being shots point your non-trigger while aiming point your non-trigger controller the direction so you have to hold your gun but point it in the direction and then strafe yeah this is i appreciate what the developers try to do here but this is pretty convoluted like you're gonna have to learn a totally weird movement style for this to work <laughs> both hands Kill the elephant 
that will appear after you press flight. Oh no. I'm gonna try and like keep using the movement. So like, if I wanted to strafe and use the gun, I would have to tip my, oh god, that's not really working. So I can like move like this, I can tip my wrist back. Luckily as a PSVR player, I'm a little more used to this. Okay, run from him. Run from him. I'm a little more used to how to keep my left wrist straight, but for most PC VR players, this would feel extremely weird and foreign. I will say, actually doing it in like a game setting, it is a little more fun. Uh, <laughs> rather than just trying to move around like it. It is a little more fun and it starts to feel a little more natural, but mostly because I'm used to in PSVR games, it's awkward, but a lot of times your movement is based on where your hand is facing. So you learn to like fight with your right hand and move with your left. Okay, so that wasn't the shooter, that was just a little demo. Start the survival shooter. Okay, who am I, who am I shooting at? Aha. I wonder if this just goes until you die. So definitely, when you're actually trying to fight, it feels a little more natural. But the problem would be if I was up against if I was up against other VR players right now that were moving, and shooting, I don't think that I could go exactly where I wanted to go. Like if I was trying to run to this cover and take cover and then shoot, like it's it's still it's still pretty unnatural, and I don't think you'd be very articulate. Would this actually replace a good movement style in a game? I seriously doubt it. Would this be a fun thing to add to a game if you were just trying to get more exercise in between doing stuff? Especially a game you're already good at and know how to move it? Yeah. It is fun. I definitely think something like this should be used in combination with an app called Turn Signal. which would then tell you how much turning you're doing and if you're out of your zone, so. Okay, I'm gonna let him kill me and then talk about this. Okay, I'm dead. So final thoughts on it. Is it a fun addition to a game if you're trying to be more active and use it? Yes. I think that it, it has valid purposes. I don't think you would ever wanna use something like this in like a competitive first person shooter. I think you would just be getting wrecked all the time because the movements a little too difficult to be fast and quick if you're wanting to just add some activity and enjoy it that way then i'd say give it a try at least try the demo and see what you think do i ever see this like being a great movement style for all games that ever someone would really get into no maybe if you were someone who gets motion sick and you try this and you never get sick because of all the movement your body's actually doing maybe it would work great for you i think that'd be awesome but it's it's asking people who are already having to learn learn vr styles of movements vr styles of games Games that have way too many weird different controls, I will say. That is one thing the VR industry needs to start getting in line with. Games need to realize, okay, controllers work a certain way, we need to always use them that way. And every developer needs to implement controls that work the same way. Every hardware designer needs to. We need to start getting some sort of even control schemes because like even for instance, if you were to play this in Pavlov versus Saints and Sinners or something like, with most all games out there, you grab things with the grip button, but then all of a sudden when you play a game like Pavlov, it's asking you to use the trigger to grab things instead. You're still grabbing the gun with the grip, but then you're grabbing the mag out with the trigger and pulling it. You're already having to fight through different shooting styles and different controller styles between every headset and every game. Now you'd be adding having to tweak a new movement style for every game. So I think this is something for people who want to try and be more active and have some fun with it, but I don't see this as an app that's going to work across the board for everybody. So developer, thank you for sending me a code. I hope that feedback gives you some help as far as where you want to take this. I think the UI could definitely be simplified a bit uh, and more, more friendly terms that make make it known exactly what they are. So I think it's really cool you're designing this and I, I hope that I hope that, that was helpful for you. So everyone out there who stuck with it and watched all of this, thank you so much. If you want to check it out, there will be a there's already a demo up on Steam VR and tomorrow a actual first early access V Rocker will be launching, I believe. So check it out on there and I will see you in another reality. I want to say a gigantic thank you to our first four patrons now, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, Fred Nepitebo, and Igi Katarash. Thank you so much. You are all making my dreams come true. Thank you.